Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project we will be creating this awesome faux wood floor background that can be used for video or even still photography. The best thing about this is that you only need two items from the Dollar Tree to complete this project. This tutorial is super easy, but before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to all of my new subscribers to my channel. And if you're a visitor to my channel today and love DIY projects as much as I do, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's get started. You will need one roll of this wood designed peel and stick shelf liner. This comes in a length of 18 inches by 54 inches long. You will also need a foam core board that you will be adhering your wood planks to. The first thing you want to do is to cut your shelf liner into planks going along the grain. I cut my planks 2.5 inches wide by 14 inches long, but you can cut your planks any size you wish. Go ahead and lay out your foam board. Start arranging your planks in a pattern that you're happy with. You want to make sure that you stagger the seams to achieve a more authentic wood floor look. Once you're pleased with the layout, it's time to apply. Peel off the backing from the contact paper and adhere the plank to the board. The contact paper is very forgiving, so it's super easy to adjust the placement. You wanna repeat this for the entire board and there you have it, a fully finished faux wood floor background. I just love the way that this came out, you know, with the variation of the wood grain and the knotting. Oh, it looks so authentic. Now you can go ahead and start filming your own instruction videos, DIY projects, product reviews, hey there skeletons, <laughs> whatever you like. This wood floor is awesome and will give you a nice clean presentation for your brand without any distractions. And it's super easy and quick to make. Just customize it to the way you like. If this tutorial helped you, please give a thumbs up on this video and let me know in the comments how you plan to use your faux wood floor background. I'm always excited to hear what others are doing with their creations. Thanks so much again for checking out my tutorial. And if you have not subscribed yet and hit that button, what are you waiting for? I have so many tutorials coming your way and you don't want to miss them. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.